Hey, everybody. It's Full Spectrum Cycling number 268. Two, six, eight. <laughs> Got a little technical difficulty with the beginning of the show I hope there. all out is coming in through nicely. That's me joking. But yeah, yeah, that's... It's, awesome. it's, it's, it is kind of funk, funky. Funky. Apologies in advance, everybody. Uh, JK's here in the studio. Hello, hello. Tony, where are you? In, where in the world is Tony? Boom, 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 boom. I am at Three Sheeps Brewing in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Oh, uh, huh, huh. right on. I almost picked up a, a sixer of that. Almost. I found out they sell leaders. Oh, oh. that's a good thing. So, uh, how was your ride up to Sheboygan? Tell us about that a little bit. Uh, it was a heavy, heavy headwind all the way up. Uh, it was very beautiful weather-wise. Other than that, just a lot of wind. And I got to give Daniel a lot of credit because he sat behind me for two and a half hours and only asked when we were getting to the water park 60 or 70 times. <laughs> what I was going to say. Was, yeah, the, was, the, the, the carrot, you know, the stick, the carrot. the Right. But he learned all the cities between Milwaukee and Sheboygan. He learned about... Queensville and Mequon and Cedarburg, and we crossed over the bridge, and then we got to Port Washington, and we Bernie's, got off the Bernie's, bike and looked Bernie's? around at the we, 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 we didn't pack go past Bernie's, and we got off the bike of the Pancho, and he looked around, and he's like, well, "Where's the water park day?" <laughs> I'm like, "You got another half an hour by car now, buddy." And then Molly and Creon showed up right after and swooped him away, and I finished the last half of the ride. With heavy headwind, all the way to Blue Harbor, and I have to say the mid drive with a eighteen and a half amp hour battery was the battery was flashing when I arrived, but it made it. That's that's so, awesome. Yeah, 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 it's a good 50, cruise. You know, sixty miles with a two hundred and forty pound human. If you include Daniel and I, he's actually eighty eight pounds now. So almost 250 pounds of human, and then uh, the last half me at you know 160, casually riding at 14 and a half miles an hour. It was a good time. Are you riding back? Hey, uh, I am leaving tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Are, is Daniel going with you, or is he taking the the car chariot? No, no. Daniel's smarter than that. He's going to get in the car. <laughs> and I do feel tomorrow is supposed to be a uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a six mile an hour tailwind and i figure without wide loaders on the cargo bike and without the extra 88 pounds i should make it back with yeah a quarter of the battery without any problem right on the unless weight you, really makes a huge difference unless you well you can offset and get back to weight if you stop at bernie's <laughs> stop at bernie's in court <laughs> No, no, I did way better. I stopped at Slow Food, which is uh, uh, Joe Nadolski's. He's the butcher at, at that facility, and I have uh, a lot of very tasty meat that this gentleman makes. It's a uh, very, very interesting company. They know all of their butchers. Um, they do full cattle butchering, um, so you can get any cut of meat you ever wanted. Uh, I got some some really nice Cajun jerky that I'll be bringing to next week's show. It's not too hot. Uh, it's got a nice Worcestershire flavor to it. What's the um, Worcestershire? For sure. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I picked up some nice uh, hot, some nice regular old beef sticks and some cheddar jalapeno sticks. Uh, yeah, beef cheeks? Made me this, he gave me some of this. He made me, yeah, they do, but he made me this hot dog that he discovered in Germany. Uh, which sounds really exciting. I'm pretty stoked to uh, to be able to take it home and, and pan fry it up. It's a pretty interesting story that I'll tell you about after I've tried it. Uh, so, pretty pretty neat. Uh, I have to say, Sheboygan, they've done a lot of you know riding through a lot of uh, Republican countryside. Uh, <laughs> it's been a pretty enjoyable ride up here, and and ride and hopefully tomorrow's ride back will be equally as cool. Well, since you're on the horn, why don't we do a quick uh, top of the hill stop and see what you got going from Sheboygan up there? Um, I have, oddly enough, you might be shocked to hear this, 
but I have a fresh coast from three. Oh, uh, I was going to say chaos from three sheeps. Yep. Uh, I did have. I'm sorry, three sheep, not three plugs, excuse me. Um, but I was really excited, JK, just so you know, that at the water park yesterday, they have a very nice full pint pour of chaos patterns for eight bucks. I'm like, you know, given that you have a captive audience here, you could easily be getting a lot more than that. And thank you for pouring me a really nice pint of beer for eight bucks. What are you guys drinking? Uh, today, J.K. picked up Patasi Tangerine IPA. Oh, that's a good beer. This is tasty. I do like that beer. <clears throat> it's, it's better than I thought with the fruity name. Yeah. It's not overly in uh, the sour. If you've never, no. If you've ever not made, the, if you've ever not, if you've never made the trip to Potosi, I highly recommend it. I was really right. Cool I was like on the same road that it was on, and I failed to stop. We were on a. We were kind of on a timeline. Well, I I feel bad. No, I, I will tell you, <laughs> the beer is okay. The food is exceptional. They yeah, have, they have a great menu. We've got a little uh, a little blurb in the show notes about how it. Uh, it was founded in 1852. Became the fifth largest brewery in Wisconsin. Distributed coast to coast. It's yep. Survived Prohibition, but closed in 1972. Uh, they reopened in 2008 after, the, I know the building got donated to the Patasi Brewery Foundation, and they reopened the brewery yeah. in 2008, so they have the National Brewery Museum there in, in Potosi. They do. They also, all of their profits go to charity. Yes, that's what I just noticed. So, yeah, well, that's awesome. Probably Market right on the label. Food. Yep, they're, uh, they're actually, their NA is pretty good, too. Right on. All right. Um, I don't even see what we got going on here. What do we got going on here? I was drinking beer. (laughs) Our our, uh, our good friend Steve from over at the Uptown, or Stephen uh, Bostwick, was on (laughs) Fox 6 News for the the Center Street Days happening. Oh, shit, I missed that. No, it was, yeah, it was like uh, uh, the morning of on Fox 6. And... (laughs) I, was, I mean, I saw him, and I had a Bloody Mary from him, but... Yeah, they were talking about, what drinks are you offering today? It was like the, you know, the special interest piece kind of thing on yeah, the morning sure. the morning show. I'm, uh... It's like, hey, we're talking with I'm Stephen Boswell here, da, 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 and yeah. Uh, I'm thankful at that event that after you guys showed up in my house, and then I met up with Molly later, that she decided I needed a nap, because... That nap saved my bacon for the rest of the day having fun. Oh, hell, dude. I ended up riding down to Boone and Crockett for the homecoming hon- coming, uh, fireworks and drone show. Uh, oh, that mm-hmm. was th- that was drones because I saw some pictures of yeah, it. Cause, yeah, because I was going <laughs> to. And then Henry, Henry, Henry Buttersauce, he was DJing like a block away, but I couldn't. I was like, what? I can't. I mean, it was hurting cats, you know. I went from like, hey, <laughs> hanging out with other people to being like, okay, yeah, thanks for the invite, Henry, but <laughs> I can't get seven people. I can't even find them during this damn show. So, and I beat them down right. there. They went by car, I went by bike, and I beat them to premises. Oh, yeah. I was very happy about that. <laughs> and then I took a slow roll and stopped at a real chili on the way home. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, nice. there's my reward. I'm a good boy. It's 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 been a day of uh, of my brain farts. I guess I I sent Chris Daisy the phone number to call in, but I I didn't uh, I didn't send the right one to him. Hey man, <laughs> so yeah. just, uh, it's, <laughs> we're, we're in the wash of the whatever the um the whatever moon. It was a moon. Oh, a big blue moon. There's a moon in the sky. It's yeah, called it a moon. <laughs> I can't remember. No, it had a funky it was name. Beautiful yeah, the, last night from yeah. our uh, blue moon. It was a blue moon, but it was, it was like a blue, moon, a blue, blue? S- a blue Aquarius moon or something like that, or a blue sun sun. I know it was gorgeous from our uh, hotel room at the water park. I trust everyone's pictures. Yeah, that water park is fun up there. I've been up there a couple times. <laughs> at She Boy again? Oh, great date. They've added a uh, a wave pool, not a wave pool, a surf thing. Oh, Mukalaka Haki. Daniel had, 
Daniel had such a great time and they were so patient with him. Yeah, it it they it is my gonna be my go to water park from until he's old enough to not want to do water parks anymore. Totally worth it. It's Way clean. better than it is clean. Lake Geneva. Yet yeah, it is clean and it's, it's not smaller seedy. than going to the Dells, so I would lose yeah. him. So yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a you know, for for a quick getaway for a couple of days, totally worth it. Right on. And and the thing is, they don't gouge you everywhere else. They're the whole thing across the board is reasonable. So I, I like that. Being a Sheboygan all inclusive, yeah. Getaway. It's it's it, and it's a nice setting. Come You're right on the lake. It's yeah. nice. No, yep. I, 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 you s'mores at night, campfire. Although uh, Cleo didn't bother to tell us the weather, and we were too dumb to look. And man, a hoodie would have been a nice thing to pack. Ah. Uh. But no, that's why you got to buy a local. And you come back with your souvenir. Yeah, I'm kicking around a three sheeps hoodie for the, for the yeah. trip back. It might be, uh, yeah, I got a three sheeps sense. hoodie. Boom. Yeah, it's supposed to be there supposed to be chilling, and then it's supposed to be hot. So Yeah, next uh, over the weekend, yeah. back to 80-ish. So, everyone, we can dunk uh, the Dr. Sushi for you. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's Saturday. Yep. And uh, DJ, DJ Fowais as well is going to be in the tank. Yep. And, oh, who's there's a couple. I mean, besides the exotics, there's one other band I really want to see. I'm drawing a total metal blank on. Buffalo Nichols. JK. Buffalo Nichols uh, is awesome. Uh, oh, yeah. I definitely want to see Buffalo Nichols. Um, <laughs> one more. Uh, Jinxie. Jinxie oh, Nukes. Jinxie. Nukes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, they're very Go Go's vibe. Well, they're they're fast. They're fun. Yeah, be cool. Yeah, I just get a total Go Go's vibe in the in the best of ways when I say that. Right. <laughs> totally. So yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a it's always that damn bass player. It always gets me boom. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're on the you're on the bass theme today. Yeah, well, it was funny when they played at Lilliput. She was like right at the edge of the damn stage, and like the one heel is like one half off. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be an audience of this, but never. Yeah, I could not imagine yeah. stepping off a stage. It's not like it hasn't happened before, but right. Mm. But I mean, when you're watching it, just like constantly, right, right, right there. Oh, my anxiety was flying. So that's my. Thoughts on Jinxie? <laughs> no, that's going to be an awesome freaking day, man. I still yeah, didn't dude. get, I don't have my my backstage or VIP access. I haven't pulled the trigger. Oh, on, I haven't pulled the trigger beer. on the Guitar Smasher Club yet. Do you mean Greg and I will drink free beer and you won't? Well, yeah. You can smuggle it out like a good human would. <laughs> I mean, I'll have my own, of course, but. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Greg, if you don't have a number two, though, you could bring JK. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure about this year. I, actually, it's it, it came up so fast. I'm not even like, oh yeah, it's already coming up uh, in a couple days. Whoa, yeah. And Friday is Strummer Fest at Club Garibaldi. And I gotta go. With that. I've been. It's only the third year, and I've been there the past two years, and it's a fucking awesome event. And all I mean Get that tradition going. I mean, yeah, I got to keep that part of it, definitely. But, I mean, it's just an awesome, like, all the proceeds go to the MPS, uh, you know, music programs. <coughs> and yep. it's That's nine cool. bands doing some, like, 15-minute sets of interpretations of Joe Strummer, either in The Clash or with the Mescaleros or just solo shit. All good shit. You Can, yeah. can you stream that somewhere, do you think? Yeah. Um. I don't yeah, they, probably, it's it, I was trying to get damn set lists and whatever from years past and never been really successful with it. Um I think well, like uh, one year Dick Satan trio did a couple tunes so he was able like Russ was able to say yeah we did blank blank and blank. Um but mm. I don't know it, it, it really is fun. It's really fun. It's really fun to like cuz it's definitely different vibes of music for sure doing an interpretation of it and i ride my goddamn bike down there it's friday hey uh oh i went goddamn on you it. goddamned that thing I did. it's been I've a been, long work day 
<laughs> I mean, I've, I've been messing around with the uh, the Omnium and and found a camera box that fits like almost perfectly into the uh, cargo box area on said Omnium. Sure. And put some wider bars on today. Why was that an ordeal? <laughs> I yeah. It just <laughs> with all the the wiring and the hydraulic hoses and all the oh, stuff yeah. it's like um those are those need to be a little longer but they don't stretch so oh who knows yeah i don't know at some point i'll i might have to redo it but so far so good and uh i don't know i think maybe we'll do a test run uh-huh. of the of the camera rig on it one of these days soon i'm kicking around mechanical hydraulics for the exercise I don't hate that idea. I've got them on a bike or two, the TRP, uh, whatever they call right. it, HYRD or something to that effect. I could look it up. But, yeah, it's a it's a cable-operated hydraulic. As long as you're not, you know, racing down mountain passes and heating everything up and, you know, if it's more for commuting yeah. and whatnot, I think it would be fine. Uh, you just don't – I don't yeah. think they can dissipate the heat like, you know – Maybe a more advanced brake could, but still, lots easier to run they make stuff. Four piston, right? They make four piston, you know, mechanical hydraulic hydraulic brakes. I'm like, that sounds like a really good idea. The best of both worlds. Best yeah, sounds like a Sammy Hagar album you're world. talking about there. Van Hagar. Van Hagar. It was a Van Hagar. Sammy Hagen. Sammy yeah, Sammy Van, Van Hagen. Yep, yep. That yep, guy. Yep, 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 yep. Um <laughs> <laughs> Hey, maybe when you're uh, doing the Strummer Fest thing, we could mosey all the way down to the checkout phase two of the power line trail. Oh it's it's way south. Dude. Well um, yeah, uh no 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 no. Yeah. It's kinda it's on the way to my mom's house, which is awesome. Because I could like spit off any part of that, ding ding ding, go up to Beloit on one version of it, which probably is the best version for traffic. And the other one is going the Grange. Oh it's yeah, kind it's, of it's all the uh, the feeder triangulating the, the feeder trails. Yeah. Well, because those both those streets suck. I mean, yeah, it's like a county highway kind of feel, especially Grange. There's like no shoulder, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's dicey. It's very, very. Uh, what else we got going on here? I I put some links on here for Tony. Tony, when you get to the show notes, some, Tony, sometime Tony. check these out. Check them out. There, there's like, okay, so if if a bike has four wheels, is it still a bike? Uh, no. yes. Does because being, does being hey, pedal training, powered make tra- it a bicycle? Training wheels. Training wheels. Oh yeah, well, training, training wheels. wheels. Training wheels. Come okay. on now. Come it, on. All right. It's an interesting. Well, I don't. Yeah, I point. I got the one percent question right for the one percent club on TV. Last <laughs> Only one percent of the people got it right, Grant? and I was one of them. Sweetness. Thank Clever. you. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the show notes now. Are they, maybe I had the old ones, but oh, outside the. Oh, wait, no, you have to reload. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it, it's a. I don't know if it's a actually being built yet but it's definitely an interesting concept to take a bunch of stuff in a cargo bike it's obviously european just you can see from the very first picture that it's not something somebody would come up with here oh. in the good old us of a is this the solar powered thing no that's different but that's another good thing oh, yeah there's buttons oh i saw out. i saw tony burger i saw, I saw his, his uh yeah saw the, those those, those solar powered things are interesting too one of them's using a grin motor on on her bike the the lady that's doing this across the country solar powered uh with battery obviously uh bike ride but yeah she's got a grin motor and I, I, the other guy has something european i'm not sure what it is european like my man bag <sighs> My man purse, right here. It's sitting. It's sitting where you would be sitting, Tony. My man bag. No. Yes. Don't warm up my seat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's sitting there. Look, it's not really doing much. It's just sitting there. What are you talking about? Uh, I what actually, do you, what do yeah. You need? During our, during our technical difficulties, I, I was Sorry using I was using Tony <laughs> Tony's headset because I couldn't hear anything in my dang headphones. Here's the deal. Look here. When it's green and it's bright. 
can't hear anything. Uh, I don't, I don't turn it off, then you can hear things. But it uh, looks still kind of lit green, but it's not. Can you, you hear know? yourself? Can, separate, separate? can I? Can I? Yes, yes. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. I, I didn't even. It, There's still, varying degrees of green of brightness. It still confuses me to this day. Red so with the red screen. So red, it's we are recording. Red right? is go. Yeah, red. Okay. We, red is is record, not go. I'm just go. making. I'm just. Yeah. I'm. I'm not questioning. I'm just. <laughs> I'm no, I get reaffirming, it. Reaffirming, reaffirming. I get what it. I'm trying when, to, when you don't come from the uh, the the radio business, that red doesn't mean the same thing. Wait, you do come from the radio business. Yeah, but red is with, like don't no. come in the room, stay out of the yeah, room. Yeah, there's yeah, it's like a a bunch of sherbet factory right here. Now, there's a lot of colors on there. Yeah, and they're all very pastelly. Yeah, and soothing. I and I get the idea behind it, but for moments of i don't know what the fuck's going on yeah it was a little bit of <laughs> they, no a little bit of uh not anxiety but just why frustration is working when i want it to work the way i want it to work oh now i have to yeah i picked up the uh the cd of taking the city by storm the Kreutzen, the haskells and the swivel oh i would i would i would watch that they oh, had cool. they had an event during center street days over at falcon bowl where graham Used to work. Rest in peace, Graham. Yep. Um, quarters had a Happy. bunch. Had a bunch of bands and had the little memorial going on. It was it was good homage on all fronts. And then to go to Falcon Bowl for an independent event, and I was like, shit, for twenty bucks, whatever. Oh, I like that. I'm idea. like, it's yeah. a good idea. You're like, oh, it'll be because I was. It, at- it'll be available so, digitally or streaming soon, and I'm like, whatever. What were the bands? Ex Cleavers. Uh, Haskell's, De Kreutzen, and the Swivels. Oh, the Swivels! I have to throw the X Cleavers in there. I want to see them too. <laughs> they were a band that I saw a lot during the oh, and the, during that peace, Rob time, Rob Atwood from the Probers and Dos Barberos and Thy Dirty Deuce. Lots of people been uh, taking yeah. that long walk down the road to heaven. Everybody, mm-hmm. <laughs> including uh, Todd Wardall. Yeah, uh, Todd, your, your, your musical nemesis, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One one nemesis down. Uh, no, uh, he, uh, not at all. I mean, a, I never, I never, yeah, yeah, I never wish death that. or that discomfort. Grudges are grudges, yeah, you know, but they're not. Yeah. Well, there was a there was a classic. Uh, he was a manager of a place that Michael and I used to go to many years ago, and uh, like it just there's music issues about. You know, mostly it's about music, I think, not playing or playing the wrong kind of music. We don't do that here, blah, blah, blah. So Michael got, uh, I would say, asked not to come back in. I don't know. How do you want to state Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Banished until I would uh, apologize apologize. uh, on certain deceased terms (laughs) yeah right and And the terms just sucked it was was like no no, it was just great it was like i'm like no i will stay on my ground on this one i'm sorry Uh, i'm sorry (laughs) i'm sorry you know i had to get into the peewee because it was like okay can we just move on and be adults and then whatever you can still take my money as a owner of your uh, yeah and then there was it just didn't work that way and then (laughs) <laughs> and then there was the beer drop, not mic drop, but beer drop right on his foot and out the door. <laughs> Those were good times. Well, oh, yes. Uh, and from my old uh, employer, the Ian McCain, he had, he just, I guess he just like uh, had a COVID hit and it took him. Wow. And that's and still then, a thing out there, folks. If yeah. you, I and used it, to have a, I used to have a PSA yeah, on, on the old board. We could play the and PSA it was just like, for COVID. Dun, 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 dun. You know, and I, you know, I mean, anything with that station, I've kept at complete like five arms lengths. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's where he worked, and um, yeah, he touched a lot of people, and they had a lot of good things to say. I was tempted to go to the memorial at. Well, some to go to the memorial, but it was at the rave. I think he would appreciate that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to say, <clears throat> get a little choked up now. So I'm going to mention this because it's in the show notes. Uh, I Technical difficulties may have prevented Chris Daisy from getting through to us or 
Something else, but uh, Chris Daisy used to own Zion Cyclery. We had him on the show several times back mm-hmm. in the olden times, um, and he's been in several bands. He has a new did album. You, did you did you give the album a listen, Tony? I, I did. It 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 there. I it was in. I like it. There's some. It's weird stuff in there and fun. And I I want to talk to him about yeah. it. So we'll we'll hook up with him again in the not too distant future. I just. Uh, Got to actually, instead of instead of trying to set this stuff up by uh, text, it's probably a better idea to talk on the old telly ringer, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what these hand yeah. computers do, too. <coughs> Excuse me. I I called someone for the first time today in forever. That was you, Greg, to make sure my phone worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, I mean, we have call-in guests pretty regularly that your phone is not the highest quality Whatever. If you're using, are you using Wi-Fi or are you doing it over the air? Uh, I am actually on Wi-Fi at Three Sheeps outside. Are you trying are, to soak up some sun? I, I just don't know what was wrong with copper it's, wiring. No, copper wiring no, worked fine. I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> the Google Pixel, any one of them are great for taking pictures. And guess what? Not yeah. for phone calling. For phone calling, Terrible they don't suck. Calls. They just suck. <laughs> so well, that's they, out. They take that, that take stuff. that, Johnny Google. Stop, stop selling them as phones. Then, yeah, uh, Elon. Wait, no. What's that other guy's I name? I don't know. Jeff Google. Jeff Don Google. Donnie Google. Um, Google right. Plex. Well, Tony, thanks for calling in. Without you, uh, we would have been twiddling thumbs, or I don't know. You know, talking but, about uh, the beer line. Got some line. pictures. Take some pictures on the way home. You know, to take some pictures of the lake. Uh, Bernie is yeah, good. right you know, over. I'm right. gonna tell you, it's, Sir James. I'm tell you right now, the trip from from Port Washington to Sheboygan is boring as dirt. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it's Port Home that's actually really nice. Yeah, yeah, for I mean, sure. You, know, you, you get some, you get some shade. You get, you're not riding through fields and on country roads. I was really like after I dropped Daniel off. I'm like, boy, the rest of this ride kind of blows. <laughs> um, until you get to, you know, yeah. But did you? Yeah, I will try to snap a couple of shots. Did you get anywhere near the the yeah. lake where you could see beach or not beach? Uh, I mean, you come down right by the power plant. I mean, you you get it through Sheboygan and then a little bit in Port. But not a whole lot of beach view, no. Yeah. Got to go do some recon. It's also been windy out of the, the east, northeast, so it's kind of pushing water up. But uh, Yeah, it's been... It, the, so, Cleon played a joke on us last night by uh, setting a uh, a beach theme sleep, you know, whatever, ambient noise. And I woke up at, like, 2 in the morning. I'm like, what's this weird sound? And then I realized it was her phone doing that. And I wanted to pull out a full on Simpsons where Homer's like standing next to Marge and just wanted to do a mm-hmm. <laughs> but I said I could do it. All right, brother. Well, that would have been the perfect way to wake wake Cleon up. So you're back next week, right? I should be back for next week's show off the following week because Molly's working and then yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Well, enjoy. And then we'll work it out. From oh, we'll there. work it out. Well, enjoy the ride back. Uh, we'll work it out uh, on your fancy. Oh, we gotta work it out. Yeah, we will. Try to see it bicycle. my way. Only time uh, will tell it, if you know, am right or I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrong. It, I'm gonna end it with this. I'm gonna end it with this, and I'm really pissed. My bike got stolen. But good God, is this so much better of a bike? <laughs> hey, just out of what time are you leaving? What, 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 what time are you leaving Sheboygan tomorrow? I don't have a plan. I don't really know. I'm thinking like 11. I got all day to get home. I'm off the rest of the week. Oh. Well, I don't know. I'm not saying it would work, but give me a shout. Maybe I'll uh, ride up the trail and meet you and escort you back into town. I'd be a blast. I'll let you know what I'm doing. Yeah. Right on. All right. Okay, Tony Berger. Cool. Have a good one. Right. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. Uh, 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 Goodbye to you. Uh, 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 however that song goes. Yeah. Scandal. Patty Smith. Yeah. The other Patty Smith. The one that's married to John McEnroe. Not Patty Smythe. 
Yes. Doesn't one of them spell it with a Y? Yes. Okay. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Not the one with the horses and the... No, pit. not the horses. Yeah. The warrior. I am the warrior with the face paint and all the... Yeah. John McEnroe. I like the Mary. warriors. That's a great yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Baseball right, Fury. It all goes back to the Baseball Furies in that picture. You I got swear that to God. right. Well, thank, thanks, Tony Berger, for calling in from Sheboygan. We'll get Chris Daisy on, I'm sure, in the future at some point. Just got to figure out where the lack of communication, lack of nah, nah. some song I'm singing over here. Uh, yeah. Communication breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what I'm talking about. Camera Z. <laughs>